Welcome to Pi Pod Chronicles, a series that brings our tech blog to life in a whole new way. Covering an array of topics surrounding Python and tech, from programming tips, best practices, and so much more. Let's get immersed in Python with the Nerd Nook on the go. If you've been keeping up with the blog, then you'll know me as Rusty Raccoon. But hey, if you're new here, I'm Josh, your host, and welcome to PyPod Chronicles. Here we are in episode 12, and I gave this one a title of Enhancing Your Python Visualization with Plotly. Plotly is a data visualization library in Python. If you remember in the last episode, I introduced matplotlib, which is a popular tool that has become extremely popular with data scientists and analysis. Well, in today's episode, you're going to be hearing about a new visualization library. Not matplotlib, but a library called Plotly and what we can do with that. Before I jump into today's episode, guys, if you haven't already, I have made you guys a free handcrafted Python guide. Just head over to the link in the description and grab yourself a free copy. If you're new to Python, this is a tool I give to all my students. Pick yourself up a copy and get started in your Python journey. Data visualization is an essential component of data analysis as well as storytelling. The ability to effectively present your data visually not only enhances understanding, but it also enables you to get meaningful insights from your data. In this digital age, everyone's wrapped up on their phones and everyone is so focused on the new tech. Well, in this age where data is generated faster than the speed of sound, (laughs) I'm not actually joking, but if we could convert that, we create so much data. Having the skills to create compelling visualizations is a valuable asset. Like I mentioned in our previous discussion, we covered matplotlib. Well, in this episode, we're going to dive into another powerful tool that has become extremely popular, and that tool is the Plotly library. I'm going to guide you through the setup process for creating your own visualizations, and you're going to see why Plotly has become a powerful tool for Python developers. Plotly is an open source graphing library which allows users to create visually captivating and interactive visuals in Python. That's why it's gained all this popularity, because it's really versatile, it's easy to pick up, and the ability for you to produce these professional quality plots or dashboards. You can create everything from those basic scatter plots from matplotlib line charts, all the way to more complex visualizations like heat maps or geographic maps. However, what truly sets Plotly apart is its interactivity. Interactive visualizations have become increasingly important in data analysis as they allow users to dive deeper into their data, uncover patterns, and explore relationships between them. Plotly enables you to add interactive controls to these visuals so your users can zoom in and out of specific regions, they could pan across a plot or hover over a data point to reveal extra information. This level of interactivity enhances the user experience and it creates a more comprehensive understanding of the data that you're trying to share. Customization is another area where Plotly really shines. This library provides endless options to customize your visualizations. This can help ensure that they align with your preferences, but more importantly, effectively communicate the intended message to your audience. You may have the best data in the world, but no one likes to read a spreadsheet. In fact, most people can't. They are visual readers, visual learners. The better you can learn to effectively transform your data into these amazing visualizations, you will become a better storyteller. In Plotly, you can customize colors, line styles, marker shapes, and so much more. And it supports the creation of subplots, which allow you to incorporate multiple charts into a single figure. In many real-world scenarios, the data we want to visualize is often stored in a spreadsheet, or more commonly a CSV file. That CSV file means comma-separated values. 
which are definitely not the easiest to read. So if you've read one, you know it's mind-numbing. It's difficult. We need to use these libraries to dissect the information you're trying to get. However, Plotly makes it simple to import that data from the CSV files and create visualizations based on that data. Let me guide you through a little bit of the process of importing a CSV file. To do this, you should use the CSV module. This is from Python. Then we can plot it with Plotly. So to kick things off, make sure you have Plotly installed. Head down to the terminal, open it up, type on in there, pip3 install Plotly. Well, that works for me because I'm on a Mac, but if you're on a Windows, start off with pip install Plotly. It'll take a moment, but you've done this before, and you'll have Plotly on your local environment. Now, open up that main.py file, and once you have Plotly installed, you can import both Plotly and CSV into your Python script. Or if you're using Jupyter Notebook, that's also fine. You are going to head up top and import CSV. Then let's get date time. So from date time, import date time. And lastly, the moment you've all been waiting for, import Plotly. But I want to target a specific module from Plotly. And this module is called graphic objects. So I'm going to import Plotly.GraphicObjects as go. Right, that's the nickname. Anytime I want to refer to this module, I can then refer to it as Go. We import three modules we need to dissect our CSV file. I'm not going to touch on this too much, right? But we have the open function in Python. And this open function allows us to open files which aren't necessarily Python files. So what I can do here to graph is I might create three lists. Dates, highs, lows. And if I have a CSV file which contains weather data, I could say with open as file. Inside there, I want to create a reader. And this is a method from CSV that allows us to read the CSV file in Python. Next up, I want to collect all the header titles. So at the top of each column, there's a title for that column. I want to collect those. And to do this, I can use the next function. So I could say something like header equals next function. Inside next as an argument, I could give my reader, which I previously created in the previous line. That's pretty cool. Now let's go through every single row in your CSV file. To do this, let's use the famous for loop, for row in reader, for every row in the CSV file, I want to do something. And specifically, I want to get the columns from my CSV file. So I want to get the column which contains the dates, the column which contains the high temperatures, and the low temperatures. I can append each of these values to a list which we created before. Cool. You now have this data collected. You're ready to plot it. That's why you're listening to this episode, you know, data analysis, you're learning a new module. Once you have extracted the data from the CSV file, then we can use Plotly. We want to start off with Plotly by creating a new figure object. So if you recall in matplotlib, I made an object called fig. So I can do that here. That just stands for figure. So fig equals the figure class. This figure class is coming from the Plotly module graph objects we imported earlier. We can then use the add trace method. This is going to accept the class scatter, which I'm using in this case, and it's going to allow you to plot your data. So create a plot with the figure class. Then you need to add the data to your plot. To do that, you're going to use the add trace method. To set the plot settings, you can use the method update layout. And this takes a few parameters, title, x-axis title, y-axis title, etc. And finally, to show your plotly plot, just take your fig object and call the show method. By following these steps, you can easily import data from a CSV file using the CSV module and create those amazing visualizations using plotly.
Let me touch on very quickly a few Plotly features and customizations. Now, Plotly offers a vast array of features that I've come into. This has become incredibly helpful. Plotly allows for multiple chart types. You have access to a wide range of chart types like bar charts, line charts, scatter and pie charts. You name it, you got it. And this allows you to select the most suitable chart type that aligns with your data in the story that you're trying to convey to the user. Plotly has interactive controls, and you could do this with customizations that enable you for zooming, panning, hovering over data points. This extra level of interactivity enhances the user experience. That's what you should be aiming for if you're using Plotly. Plotly allows for custom styling. So, I mentioned before, colors, fonts, annotations, legends, and so much more. And the last one I'm gonna to touch on here is actually exporting and sharing. You can effortlessly export Plotly visuals to various file formats like HTML, PNG, SVG. Moreover, sharing these visualizations online is convenient through options like publishing to the Plotly cloud or embedding them into web applications. Plotly has a framework called Dash, and this is built on top of Flask. If you're familiar with Flask, you can basically create a website that displays an interactive data visualization using Plotly. All right, I'm gonna wrap things up for this episode. Data visualization plays a crucial role in understanding complex data sets because most people can't read a CSV file and effectively communicating those insights. Plotly is a popular choice for data visualization in Python. It offers rich features and more importantly, interactivity. In this episode, I had walked through how to get started with Plotly and just creating a very basic chart, including the installation and those basic visualizations. Take this chance to dive into the world of Plotly just a little bit, scratch the surface, and bring your data to life with these stunning visualizations. Stay tuned for more upcoming exploration because I am going to be looking at Plotly a bit more in the future. In the next episode, I think what I'm going to share with you guys is a comparison between Matplotlib and Plotly. Which one is better for you? Well, that's all for now. Thank you guys for tuning in for this episode of PyPod Chronicles. And be sure to check out the blog if you're looking for more. As always, the link is in the description. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next episode.